For post-Turkey travelers, it may be tough getting home after the holiday. New storms already snarling travel across the nation. On Thursday, more than 1,800 flight delays and nearly 100 cancellations. For those on the road, be careful. They're either wet, snowy, windy, or all three. Late Thursday in Colorado, the weather being blamed on a charter bus rolling over, injuring more than 50 people. In Utah, rescue teams hoisting two people to safety from a car that veered into the bottom of a canyon. And in Northern California, mayhem on Interstate 5 when a bomb cyclone moved in, causing rollovers and fender benders. When it came in, it came in hard. It was, uh, you could barely see across the street. And for the usually sunny southern half of the state, no reprieve. Cities at higher elevations like Lancaster getting early snowfall. And even farther south, torrential rain putting 16 million under flood alerts. Blustery conditions also wreaking havoc in the Midwest. This dash cam video capturing the terrifying moment a light pole blew over in Chicago, nearly crushing a car carrying a father and his four-year-old child. This could have been traumatic. This could have ended so differently. The wind also a concern for kids of all ages at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. My favorite is the Snoopy one. The famous giant balloons taking to the sky at the last minute, launching with this tweet from the NYPD. Hey, astronaut Snoopy, we are clear for takeoff. Even though handlers kept the balloons pretty close to the ground, there were a couple of minor mishaps. The nutcracker crashing into a parade worker who came in to help control the runaway balloon. And the iconic Ronald McDonald balloon sustained a tear in his leg attributed to the wind before being pulled off the parade route altogether a little early. Now, if you live out west, try to stay put today and travel Saturday. And if you have to stay for that extra plate of leftovers, try to travel Sunday morning because Sunday evening across the country, guys, is going to be a mess. Guys? The holiday madness begins. Molly, thank you. All right. Well, now for a closer look at just how challenging the weather will be this weekend. Dylan is in for Al this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, guys. We do have a pretty powerful storm system that is going to slowly move across the country for the rest of this weekend. While we do have a little bit of light snow through the upper Midwest, it's really what we're seeing down through this southwest that's going to turn into this bigger storm. We have flash flood watches and warnings with some of the rain across southwestern Arizona, but it's really all the winter storm watches and warnings and even some blizzard warnings as this whole system contains a lot of wind, too. So let's break down what you're going to see today. On the eastern side of the storm, it's mainly rain, but on the northern side, that's where the cold air is located, so we'll still uh, still see snow fall across Wyoming through the Dakotas. Uh, the borderline in Minneapolis, you'll start with snow, then you'll change over to kind of a wintry mix through the day on Saturday. Heavy rain expected from Chicago to Cincinnati. And then on Sunday, heavy rain up and down most of the East Coast. But you go up into perhaps the New York area into New England, and that's where we could see uh, per- possibly some more snow as uh, we go into Sunday later in the day, and that lasts through Monday, too. So if you're traveling today, most of the trouble spots will be through the middle of the country through Kansas City, Oklahoma City, Dallas because of that rain, especially later today. We're also looking for some of those delays due to snow in Salt Lake City. Phoenix will see some heavier rain. Denver will see some snow showers as well. We'll get into more details as what this storm is going to do as we go into Sunday and Monday time frame. A lot of you folks traveling then too in just a few minutes, guys. All right, Dylan, thank you. 